Hey everybody, Matthew Larry here. Want to take a second to welcome you to Wednesday's edition of our Faith for Life broadcast. We're bringing you the message of faith approximately five minutes a day, five days a week. I want to start today with this statement. Weak Christians are Satan's favorite kind. <laughs> I want to say it to you again. Weak Christians are Satan's favorite kind. You know, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10 says this, Be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. That is not a suggestion. We've been commanded by God to be strong. God wants you and me to be strong, and He expects us to be strong. You know, a lot of people get the idea, well, that God is strong, and we're weak, and that's just the way it's supposed to be. Not so. In 2, Corinthians chapter, um, 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 17, the Apostle Paul wrote this, The Lord stood with me and strengthened me. You see, friend, you're supposed to be strong. We're supposed to be strong believers. If we're supposed to be strong in faith, strong in mind, strong in body, strong in love, strong in grace. You and I are supposed to be strong. We're not supposed to be weak, flailing, barely getting by people. No, you and I are supposed to be strong in the Lord. Now, you don't get strong by talking about how weak you are. I need to say that to you again. You don't get strong by talking about how weak you are. Joel chapter 3 verse 10 says, let the weak say, I am strong. Come on, if you're feeling weak, if you're looking weak, if you're acting weak, you don't talk your weaknesses, you start declaring, I'm strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. The apostle Paul did this in Philippians chapter 4 verse 13. He said, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. See, friend, that, he's not talking his weakness. He's talking his strength. He's talking about being strong. And see, it's popular today in church circles and among Christians to talk about our inadequacies and to talk about our weaknesses and talk, to talk about how inadequate we are and how we, this little light of mine, you know that song, to talk about how small we are and how, friend, you're not going to get strong talking like that. You're not going to get strong talking about your inadequacies. Yes, without God, we are nothing. Without God, we can do nothing. Without God, we can accomplish nothing. But we're not without Him. He's in us, and we're in Him, and greater is He that's in us than He that's in the world. And God wants you and me talking about who we are in Him and what we can do in Him. And if we're going to talk like that, we're going to have to talk about being strong. Now, why do you need to be strong? Well, two reasons. Number one, because you're a soldier in the army of God. And there is a cause in the earth, a kingdom caused that needs to be advanced in the earth. And we can't do that with a bunch of weak soldiers. 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 3 said, endure hardness as a good soldier. God needs strong soldiers in his army. Soldiers that can advance his cause. Soldiers that he can flow through and, and, and use to minister to other people and help hurting people. And friend, you got to be strong to do that. Now, the second reason you need to be strong is because you have an enemy in the earth that you need to resist. James chapter 4 verse 7 says to resist the devil and he'll flee from you. There's nothing in that verse where God said, pray to me and I'll get rid of the devil for you. No, God told you and me to resist the devil. Now, he'll strengthen you to do that, but he's not going to resist the devil for you and me. We are to resist the devil. And when the devil comes to attack you, it's not going to do you any good for you to be weak and God to be strong. You're going to have to be like the Apostle Paul and you're going to have to say, the Lord stood with me and strengthened me. And because he strengthened me, I was strong to resist the devil. I was strong to resist him and to stand against him. And because I was strong, I walked in victory. Come on, friend, you might have just rolled out of bed today. I don't know, maybe you're watching the broadcast and you're feeling weak and you're feeling tired. Come on, I want you to say it with me right now. I'm strong in the Lord. And in the power of his might, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I'm strong in faith. I'm strong in my mind. I'm strong in my body. I'm strong in joy. I'm strong in peace. And greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. Come on, friend, you know that's a lot better than talking those inadequacies and those deficiencies and talking your weaknesses. Come on, we need to talk about how strong we are in the Lord because he wants us to be strong. I want to remind you of a few things as we're closing today. Number one, we've been commanded by God to be strong. It's not a suggestion, it's an order. Number two, 
you don't get strong by talking about how weak you are. And number three, you need to be strong because you're a soldier in the army of God and you have an enemy that you need to resist. Let's pray. Father, we thank you today, Lord, that you will strengthen us and you will cause us to be strong in every area of our lives, that you don't want us to be weak in any area. So we make a decision today that we're going to talk our strengths, we're going to talk being strong, and as we do, Lord, we thank you that you're going to help us to be strong. In Jesus' name. Amen. Well, friend, thank you so much for watching the broadcast today. Don't forget to come back tomorrow for Thursday's edition of our Faith for Life broadcast. We'll see you then.